All right, so here is the final reveal of the Fly Models Vickers Vinny in 133rd scale. Um, finished it last night, little extra details. Um, sweet little model, um, well, sweet big model. Um, talk a little bit about some things that I might have changed on or things would be different, but overall it's wonderful. Um, critical things I have of it basically is a couple of things, but partially remember this could be lack of skill on the modeler's part. The fuselage went together very well, but the fuselage has no formers in it. It's held together and strength-wise by having basically an inside piece that kind of wraps around and glues to this outside piece and you fold everything and in the end you have a pretty strong structure when the glue dries but it's prone to twisting um, and back here there's a big twist I put on the back of the tail back of the fuselage um, that I'm hopefully you can't see um, but I had to modify things to make that work so that was a problem that also reared its ugly head up in front because what I had was um, uh, in this area, I had to do a lot of fiddling around with the nose position to make this top fit right and the cockpit um, combing fit right because I think this area here was probably not completely true and square. Again, that's my fault, not the model. But had there been some formers, it might have been a little bit more, a little better. Now, the reason there's no formers is this inside is completely open and there's stuff in there to look at, printed paper to see. So I can see why there aren't any formers. But maybe if it was made like the real airplane, it might be a thing to try next. Um, the other issue I had was the rear fuselage. It's in two pieces, there's a, you know, front part and the rear part. And there's this join right here. And it is just a butt join. And what I ended up doing was putting a piece of, I think, um, toothpicks or something in here to have it hold together a little bit better and then I had to put a little piece of paper around the edge here just to hide the seam but that to me is kind of a weak spot because relying on the butt joint is kind of a I don't know a dicey proposition as far as I'm concerned um, but again this could be that I'm just not uh, I'm not that great of a model builder um, I'm a little critical of the wing structure in general, not the wings themselves, but I got billowy parts, billowy paper on here in places, and that's because I think either I didn't fit them right or there's not enough ribs. I really like things with more ribs. Most people like less ribs, I like more ribs. Um, and so I think the wings need to have more ribs on them in order to combat some uh, billowiness that can happen as a result of having all that surface area, all that paper on there. But again, I've seen this model done brilliantly, much better than this one, and that didn't happen. So, you know, who, you can take that for what you will. Um, um, let's see, oh, and the bottom wing here, where it's put together, originally there are, there's a there's spar, a single spar that goes between and connects the center section, this side to the other side. And then that fits up into a slot on the fuselage. Um, that broke. <laughs> um, I would rather have made that maybe out of, mine was out of balsa, but made it out of 132nd or 116th um, plywood. Then it would be strong and true and it wouldn't snap and it would align this perfectly. I had to align this on either side and it worked, but it's not the best way to do it. So that's my, again, that's, that's a builder problem. Uh, most of these I'm telling you are really builder problems. I do wish that there was a more um, positive way to keep the dihedral angle in here. Again, these are just supposed to be butt joints. And boy, it'd be nice to have some wire of the right angle in there or a piece of wood or something. I tried a little bit and it kind of worked, um, but mine is flatter than it should be. Now when it lifts for flight, it actually goes up a little like a real airplane. So maybe that's pretty good. but. It should have more dihedral than what I have on here, at least from the pictures I've seen. Um, that's my personal thought on that. Um, mistakes I made, there are many. You know, the most obvious one is this piece here. This, I guess it's a fuel line of some kind. It's supposed to be coming down this strut, not this strut, so oops. Um, 
I liked how I, I this is the first paper model I've had or one of the first that <sighs> the propellers actually spin <sighs> Whoops. <sighs> it does really <sighs> oh come on I know it spins <sighs> well I can't get over there to look at it but anyway that's kind of cool it's nice to have happen the overall uh, strength of the model is amazing um, the the placement of all these holes all these struts everything is in line in other words i didn't do anything spectacular i put them together i put lined up the holes and dang if it's not perfect i mean everything is square and true incidence is right uh all that so that's brilliantly designed and same on the tail um tail's the same um the stabilizer has all those struts but they all come together beautifully landing gear fits there's nothing in here that's critically difficult um, that doesn't fit the nacelles I was worried about, especially like these pieces here, because these are kind of like pedal designs. These pieces fold over here, but they look fine. They don't look bad at all. And these struts that hold the nacelles in and all, again, they're very strong and they're very true and very straight. So uh, nothing but major points for the designers on this, because it really could be a bear. And it, it actually is not a hard model to put together. You just gotta have to be persistent and not worry about getting it finished in two days. But overall, lovely. I'm glad I went to the problem of putting in clear windows here. Um, nobody will see them, um, but I know they're there. And there's even some underneath, just if you care. Um, in general, though, it, it, uh, uh, I'm glad I took the time to put those in, just adds a little extra detail. These window pieces, I had to make um, um, extensions underneath them and cut a curve to f contour to fit on here. They were straight on the model, and it just looked really dumb. These are supposed to be canted, as they are, but if I put them in the way the model was given, they'd look really silly, and maybe that's because maybe my turtle deck isn't right. I'm not sure, but I had to just cut these out into curve, and they fit fine, and you can't tell I did it. It looks great. It looks no problem at all. So, um, I, uh, oh, and this piece, I don't know if you remember, but this piece I had was short, and I fixed it by adding a little sleeve around there, and uh, that looks fine. You hardly know what's there. So there's a few smoke to mirror things that turned out. I'm very pleased with my gun mounts in that I cut holes in these pieces with that new tool, which is extremely nice. And then I made my own pulleys, and I put my little elastic piece to look like the real scarf mount with the uh, bungees on there. I think it's pretty cool. And as I said in another video, I went out on the machine guns because that to me was a failing in the kit. The, the, the things, the, the pictures they have for the, the machine guns are poor. It does, they don't look like machine guns, um, not like Lewis machine guns. Oh, and then I also added these exhausts. I made it from aluminum tubing. That was just easier than rolling, and I think they look really clean and slick. So I, I got to say, um, this is a model I wanted to build for a while. And I am so glad I finally built it. Um, you know, it's it's delicate looking, but yet very very sturdy. It's a it's a neat airplane. It's big, but it's so worth it if you can find it, um, and if you have the patience to go ahead and put it together, because um, it really turns out into a into a very very nice little machine. I I really think it's cool.